Thank you. Good morning, y'all. Happy Sunday. Sunday, January 31st. And um, so I just wanted to come for a little video because I'm trying to do better about being more active on this channel if I'm going to have it, you know what I mean? And upload things. Um, but y'all, um, it was like a couple, I had to tell y'all about this because I can't make this stuff up. People are crazy, okay? So, um, like, it was a couple months ago. And this was right before we went out for Christmas break. One of my coworkers pulled me to the side and asked me if I'm taking Ozempic. <laughs> Um, and my response was, to her was that no. I told her, I said, I'm too afraid to take stuff like that. No, ma'am, I'm not taking anything like that. Uh, what I'm doing, I'm doing natural. I'm getting ready for church, y'all. I said, what I'm doing, I do, um, I'm doing this natural. And the thing of it is, is y'all, um, because I had a family member ask me, um, how you losing all that weight? Because <clears throat> they feel like, I don't know if they feel like you got to be on something or doing something to to lose weight. But this is what it is. Okay, I started my journey back over to lose weight July 22nd, July of 2022. Okay. So... Hits, misses, inconsistent, consistent. I try to be consistent as I possibly can because that's the thing that I've struggled with most of my life is just being consistent with things. So that's one thing that I am working on, especially in this journey, is being consistent. And so it's not like, you know, something that happened overnight. <clears throat> I didn't all of a sudden lose 80 pounds overnight. This is something that I have been working on. It's just that I have, they didn't know about it. I haven't been vocal about it. I haven't been telling people about it. I've just been doing my own thing and the weight's falling, has fallen off. And all of a sudden they see, you know, the difference. Especially if they hadn't seen me in a while. So they think that you're doing something magical. And it's like, I'm not doing anything magical. This is just what I've been doing. You know what I mean? This is what I've been doing. Um, so, I didn't get insulted. I just got tickled. And my response to my family member who said to me, um, how are you losing all that weight? Was that I just simply said, it's not really what I'm eating. It's when I'm eating. Because I do um, incorporate I've been consistently incorporating, um, you know, intermittent fasting on my journey. I don't eat until after 12, and I've tried it not to eat after 8. I have had slip-ups along the way, where sometimes I have wanted something, you know. Most of the time it's after 8, and I may have, like, pickles or something. But, um, yeah. So, I just wanted to tell y'all about that because, you know, it's kept, I don't know if it's intrusive or... Just like the other day, one of my coworkers asked me, what did you get for your birthday? And I'm like, "If I, what is it going to benefit you to know what I got for my birthday? That's really none of your business. You're just being nosy. But I told her, you know, I got money and I got a dress, which is what I got for my birthday. You know, I just went ahead and told her. I mean, no big deal. No big issue. Um, but some people are just nosy. But anyway, yeah, when I got that question about the Olympics, are you taking Olympics? Like, no, ma'am. I've been working. This is hard work. And, you know, I ain't been taking no pills, no supplements. I don't go to no doctor. I don't have a prescription. I'm too scared of that kind of stuff anyway. Um, I've been there, done that. You know, when I was in my 20s trying to lose weight, I was taking um, some kind of um, some kind of pills that had a lot of caffeine and stuff in it. When I'm in the hospital, I was having heart issues, had heart palpitations. I had um, inflammation around my heart. And I know it was from taking those pills, but that was like, you know, probably about 20 years ago. But um, but I, I lost weight, I lost weight. 
but I was in the hospital. And ever since then, I was like, no, if I can't do it naturally, I'm not, I'm just, I'm, you know, I'm not gonna do it. If I have to have surgery, I'm not having surgery. Cause at one point in time in my life, once upon a time, I thought about losing weight. I mean, not losing weight, but having, you know, some kind of surgery, but it was like, death is a side effect. I wanna live, you know, that's why I'm, I'm trying to get healthy. So if I can't do it, you know, naturally with food, exercise, um, you know, fasting, I don't wanna do it. So um, yeah, I got the exempted question. That was kind of intrusive. But I appreciate the way she did because she didn't do it loud in front of people. She just kind of pulled me to the side. She's like, mm, are you taking Exempic? I'm like, ma'am, no. Diet and exercise? Hell. Girl, if you only knew. Fighting. You know what I'm saying? I'm fighting my way. I fought my way out of the 300s, y'all. I fought to get out of 300. I was like, nope. When I seen that scale go back up to 270, it's like, no, ma'am. So but this morning it's back down to 267. It's like, nope, I'm not going back 300 pounds. I don't want to be 300 pounds ever again my entire life. It was miserable there. Knees hurting. Can't turn, hardly turn over in the bed and all that stuff weighing 360 pounds. Nope, not doing it no more. So, hey y'all, it's Sunday. Um, my mom cooked dinner today. So I'm going to the house at the church. And then I'm just trying to get my game plan. I'm probably just gonna do um, one meal a day this week. And um, I'll probably do like some, like if I'm hungry or something for a snack, I'll probably just do fruit. Cause I went to Sam's yesterday and I did get a big old bag of apples. Um, I got some bananas and um, some cucumbers. So, you know, just try to eat light. And, I'm just debating on whether I'm gonna go on this uh, this fast with the a healthy alternative. They had they had they have a rolling 72 juice fast coming up in the month on the 28th, which is next Monday, and it's like $98 to join the challenge. Um, and then I have a $15 off coupon because I've been a part of the challenges before. And really with that community, that's how I really sprung board and was able to learn a lot about fasting and juicing and do those things to drop a lot of weight. Um, so, but it's worth it, the $98, you know, it's an investment if you do that. Like I said, I have a $15 coupon off because I've joined the challenge before, so it'll be $78. Um, it's worth it because of the the community that you get access to with the live chats, you get access to coaches, you get to hear other people's testimonials and they're giving you a lot of valuable information and they're going doing lives um, on YouTube. Normally they're doing on Sunday nights unless they change you know, the structure of how they do uh, the classes and stuff, but the coaches are really, really good. They're phenomenal. All of them have awesome testimonies, especially Stephen Michael and this young lady named Jasmine. Jasmine, she's a coach, and Jasmine lost 100 pounds in five months. And if I remember, y'all, I'll try to link the video to them talking about how she lost it, you know, the fasting and stuff. Um, in the description box so you can watch that video and the and the coach michael he's just awesome he's lost 100 pounds gained it back lost it but he just has so much insight about fasting um everybody can't fast everybody can't juice and do all that stuff it takes a discipline you know something just has to it just has to click y'all nothing has to click it really does. And so, I don't want to be 300 pounds again. I'm tired of being fat. Um, I know that I'm not skinny right now. I'm still big. You know, I'm still, you know, plus size. I'm still big. And I've lost, you know, a good amount of weight. I still got a good amount to go. Um, every day is a stepping stone. Every day is a journey. 
every day you can reinvent yourself every day you can make it brand new i'm so happy and thankful and grateful that in october i decided to reset my year for 2024 i started early i had a jump start and i see why because i went out of 2023 sick um but it didn't slow me down didn't turn me because that's not how my year is going to be because i started my year in, in, in october when i started exercising baby your girl was running your girl was running and jumping and feeling good and jogging, trying to get herself together, you know, burning 500 calories, running, running, walking four miles an hour. That's a major accomplishment for me. Major, huge. From, you know, for me taking me, you know, 20, 30 minutes to walk one mile. So, um, I'm thankful, y'all. I'm glad you're here. I'm glad you watched this video this far. I know I'll be rambling sometimes. Yeah, I'll probably click off if you're still here. Thank you so much. I will see y'all tomorrow. Tomorrow we're working out with Marce. Marce. I'll be saying, I say her name wrong. Mari. She's so pretty. Um, but she's going to be work. We're going to be doing the workouts two days a week. So we're going to do them Mondays at 6.30 from 6.30 and 7. And then on Saturday mornings from uh, 8 to 8.30. So I look forward to that. So y'all have a great rest of your weekend. Tomorrow's a new day to start. A whole brand new day right now. You, I mean, you can start over whenever you want to. In the middle of the day. In the middle of the night. You make up your mind. It's your journey. It's your choice. This is your opportunity. Do it, baby. You got this. I got this. Sometimes I, I go off on the deep end with the potato chips and that because potato that's my weakness. But I get back on. We gotta get back on. We gotta stay on. Cause I gotta I gotta get this. I gotta get out of two sixty. I gotta get out of two sixty, y'all. So y'all, I will see y'all tomorrow. Bye.